All right. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Cooper coming at you live from sunny Los Angeles, California. Today, I'm going to be talking a little about Audius and the future of music. So today, I wanted to just introduce myself, give you guys a quick background on who I am. I currently run crypto strategy at Audius. I help with all of the integrations you're going to learn about today. I do a lot of stuff in the DAO world, specifically Friends with Benefits, Pleaser DAO, Seed Club. Could name a bunch more, but TLDR is that I'm very, very passionate about DAOs. I'm lucky to be an advisor to many great projects in the space that you see listed there. And I do a lot of work in token and governance design through a firm called FireEyes DAO. So today in this presentation, I really want to help everyone understand how did I get into crypto? I want to highlight that I am not a technical person by trade, and there's a lot of exciting areas to get involved in the industry. I want to help people recognize and identify what Audius is and does, why it's necessary, how we're building for the mainstream economy, talk a little bit about the new competitive landscape, and then end up this talk talking about what the creator economy looks like at scale. So diving right into it, we've got a lot of cover. You know, why did I get into crypto? For me, I've been an early music curator for a very long time. This dates all the way back to high school, finding tracks on SoundCloud. Went to school for music business. And at that university, I ended up getting really into curation for music blogs. I was doing journalism. I was traveling around the country, going to see different artists. And, uh, you know, really wanted to pair this with my early entrepreneurial roots. You know, back in high school, I was selling Pokemon cards on eBay. Always found myself being very early to trends. And so naturally... When I heard about smart contracts and the ability to help um, unlock royalty payments to artists and basically make direct payments, crypto felt like a no-brainer. At that point, I think that the uh, conference was early enough that um, it was very easy to sort of get in the weeds with things and try and figure out, how do I make a name for myself in this space? There's a lot of uncharted territory to explore here. And for me, as someone who's always been into curation, I think being able to find trends very early on and help to educate, explore, and uncover them was something very exciting to me. So to kind of recap there, you know, music has been a long time passion of mine. And I think what really unlocked for me was the fact that this technology really opened up a new avenue for economic and social freedom for all of the actors involved. So Audius is really important to me because this is something that deeply combines my two passions of music and crypto. It's the foundation for a new music industry owned by its artists. As you can see right there, we connect artists to fans through a community owned design. I really want to emphasize that artist to fan relationship. You know, in the world we live in today with music, I think it's very difficult for artists to connect directly with their fans, A, because they don't know who they are, B, because it's really difficult to do so with the technology, and C, because they don't even know what they need to. And so for me, when I found out about Audius, you know, this was a no-brainer to me. At this point in time, I had been working in crypto for a couple of years, and Audius just felt like the perfect project for me to come in and really use all the stuff I had learned from working in crypto for four years and take that to a brand new class of users, in this case, you know, artists, fans, and listeners alike. As you can see here, you know, Audius is a really incredible platform supporting some of the biggest artists in the world today. I won't name all these by name, but I'm sure that many of you are familiar with these acts. And I'm very excited to say that we're growing extremely quickly and getting, you know, caliber of this talent on board pretty much every single day. Here's a look at what the app looks like. You know, I want to start by saying that um, Audius does not look and feel like a typical crypto application. The thing I'm most proud of is that if you come to the site and you just browse around a little bit, chances are you would have no clue that you're even using a crypto application. You know, under the hood, everyone does have a wallet, but the thing that's really important to keep in mind here is you don't need to know how to use MetaMask or anything of the likes to get started with the platform. You just need to know that if you want to find great music, this is the place to do it. I'm really excited to say that as of this week, we just crossed 5 million monthly active users on Audius. I believe this is either the most or one of the most actively used crypto applications in the world right now. And to really emphasize that point, you know, I think the reason why this is working is because people don't really know that they're using crypto. What I'm excited about is the fact that Audius is not sacrificing on the typical security trade-offs you see with other platforms that try and advance usage. It's built on the tenets of decentralization. All of the content is hosted on IPFS and decentralized file storage. But to an end user, when you come to the platform, all you're going to see is a platform that you know and love. You're going to be able to poke around and play songs like you would any other platform. Under the hood, you're going to get all the core benefits of building on this technology that we're all super, super excited about. The reason why I want to highlight why Audius is important is that today in the music industry, artists capture about 12% of total music revenue. On the left side here, you can see a depiction of all the different areas where artists kind of get cut out of the mix and where there's areas and opportunities for different middlemen to come in and help to disintermediate that flow. When I learned about smart contracts and the ability for me to send a payment to you in real time with no middlemen and no black box system where you're delayed for six months, this made perfect sense to me. You know, I think that the smart contract levers we have in place allow us to do some really cool stuff around splits, allow us to do some really cool stuff around micropayments. And the reason I'm so excited about Audius is that this is the core foundation to support all of that new technology. And so when you think about it today, Spotify as a record, as a major platform, generally takes about 88% of royalties at any given time to help facilitate all the services from distributors to labels, to management, to um, curators, to all of the services in between that an artist will typically pay before they get paid. With Audius, we want to kind of flip that on its head and make sure that the artist is all receiving the vast majority of revenue 
and anything else that they receive from the platform is always going to go back to value added network uh, actors in the network, specifically node operators and the people that are helping to facilitate services on the platform. So on the right hand side here, I have a quick tweet thread on the monetization strategy. From a high level, what I'll say is that if you're a musician, and you're watching this. Audience first and foremost goal is to make sure that you are getting every cent that you earn from the platform that you and the value you create. And beyond that, we're looking to do a lot of cool things around the other actors in the networks that even if you're not uploading music to the platform, there are still ways for you to get involved and add and create value for this protocol. I think it's really important to recognize that, you know, Audius is not alone in this journey to better help refine the music industry. There are a lot of incredible platforms out there that are supporting musicians and creators of all shapes and form. And so the way that I like to think about this is Audius is a digital distributor. In the same way that you would listen to your music on Spotify, we kind of sit at the center of being able to host decentralized infrastructure and allow other platforms to build on top of us. And so if you look in the top and bottom here, you can see there are really cool services like Zora, Foundation, Rarible, Rally, Catalog, and on ticketing something like Yellow Heart or events like Poop. And so at the center of this, you have a protocol to support decentralized music infrastructure to upload and stream music at real time. And beyond that, you now have a Web3 foundation where any of these platforms can come in pull from the information that we have, pull from the data that we have, and build and support economies on top of what we're building here at Audius. One of the most interesting developments of the past year here is that Audius is no longer in a world by itself. You know, I think one of the most exciting things in the past month for me was seeing that Tidal has recently acquired, uh, been acquired by Square for a total of $297 million. And so when you think about this, you know, Tidal, for those who aren't aware, was a niche streaming service started by Jay-Z. Some of the tenants that it led with were the fact that it had really high audio quality. You know, it said that it was more empowering to fans by higher streaming rates and whatnot. And so naturally over the next couple of years, Tidal has sort of faded away as pieces like Spotify have really taken center stage. But with this new integration, I think it's very important to recognize that both of these industry leaders see a ton of potential and value in crypto. On the right-hand side there, you see Jay-Z's Twitter avatar recently changing it to a punk just before this major, major wave that went off. We saw a couple uh, Twitter space rooms where Jack and Jay-Z were talking about the potential for NFTs, part of the fan relationships and creator economies. And so what I want to highlight here is that while Audius is very passionate about the idea of decentralization, we're not building in a vacuum. You know, the music industry is honestly changed forever. And some of the biggest players in the game are now recognizing that this technology is foundational to the future of this industry. If you go to Spotify, SoundCloud's job listings, you're going to find that they're hiring blockchain engineers. You know, I don't think this is a coincidence that all at the same time, the most major players in this industry are waking up and recognizing that there's a ton of value to be created by utilizing things like smart contracts, by integrating NFTs, by supporting more direct relationships to fans. And I'm really excited to start thinking about Audius as a major contender with platforms like Tidal, like Spotify, and like SoundCloud, so we can break out of this niche industry of crypto and instead position ourselves in a much wider market of the larger music industry and all of the global artists that are supported in that. What does this mean though? You know, I think one thing that's really important to recognize is us in crypto industry, we're very interested and excited by the idea of crypto, but I think that we long fail short to recognize that there are a lot of stuff that needs to happen in order for us to do this right. And so one of the reasons that I love Audius is that as I mentioned at the top of this talk, you don't need to know anything about crypto to get started, but if you do wanna go deeper down the rabbit hole, we support that infrastructure. So to give a quick context here, if you're gonna sign into Audius, you simply log in with an email and a password the same way you would into SoundCloud or any other platform today, except you now have the ability to connect your wallets under the hood. So if I'm a sophisticated user who collects a ton of NFTs, and let me tell you, I've been collecting quite a lot of NFTs in the past couple of weeks, I wanna show those off to my users. I wanna show those off to my fans and have a really good experience around that. So I can go into my profile, I can connect to my MetaMask wallets and display my NFTs directly on my Audius page. You know, as it says in the bottom there, there's no crypto experience required to get started. But if you are an advanced user and if you are someone who's taking advantage of this new industry, we want to support tools and features that allow you to display that knowledge and wealth so that as fans come and discover your platform, they can go deeper down the rabbit hole. They can see that you're active and engaged in this ecosystem and they can find ways to connect with you. You know, I think from my experience working in crypto for so long, we often go very deep in crypto very fast. And what I really love about what Audius is doing is being very cautious about how far down the rabbit hole you throw a user and allowing them to really discover that process over time as they get more familiar with it, as they feel more comfortable with the space, as they learn about NFTs, and as they want to take a step deeper, we want to support the infrastructure to allow you to do that. You know, I think this is a uh, pretty important topic here. It's something that we're very used to in crypto, but I want to spend a minute talking about it because I don't think that it's common outside of crypto. With Audius, you can earn ownership in the network. I think for many musicians today, the idea of being able to earn ownership in the platforms you create value for is very new. You know, on something like Spotify or on SoundCloud, you see these uh, billion dollar companies who have been built off the ground of artists and the value they create, 
but there's no such thing as 99% of the artists owning equity in say Spotify or in SoundCloud. You know, with Audius and the audio token that we have, we want to give back ownership to everyone who's creating value for the network and do our best to make sure that if you are a valuable actor in this platform, there are ways for you to earn ownership and be able to voice that opinion through governance. So some examples of that, we have three different contests that happen every week, a trending tracks playlist, a trending tracks contest, a trending playlist contest, and then an underground playlist. So what this means, if you come in the top five in any of those categories on any given week, you're going to earn audio tokens directly to your account. This is something that doesn't require any technical knowledge. This is simply you being a fantastic musician and making great music. And if you're able to garner the support of your fans on the platform, you're going to earn direct ownership in the network. For the more technically inclined participants in Audius, we have an API provider challenge where every month we distribute audio to the top 10 API providers. So if you're building on top of Audius, if you're supporting the infrastructure and allowing other people to stream music, you're going to earn audio tokens as a result of being a value-added actor in that capacity. Now, let's say that you are new to the platform, you're just starting to grow a fan base, you know, you really love what we're doing, but you might not have that huge following to get into the top 10 or top five um, playlist contest. You know, you can actually apply for a grant from the audio grants committee. This is a grants committee run by 12 artists within the community. They basically oversee a pool of audio tokens and allocate grants to different users, depending on however they want to see it and however they see fit. So what we've seen so far is things like remix contests, like Twitch live streams, you know, running uh, educational campaigns around Audius. If you're a small artist and you want to come help evangelize the platform, there are ways for you to ask for ownership in the network. And so long as you're willing to honor that social capital, you know, there are systems in place to be able to earn those tokens and go spread the good word about what we're doing and hopefully be able to earn a little bit of ownership in the process. Uh, something that I'm personally very passionate about, you know, for the more technically inclined users is staking and delegation. So on Audius, as I mentioned earlier, all the content is stored on IPFS and we run it through decentralized node operator systems. So if you have audio tokens and you want to participate in the issuance of the network, you can take your tokens and either stake them to become a validator in the network, or if you don't have the capacity to run a validator, you can go ahead and delegate that to a node operator and instead earn APY in the form of issuance in the platform simply for being a good actor to help secure the network. The last thing I'll say here is something called fan clubs. This is very early on, but basically what does it look like to be able to curate early to the artists that you discover on a music platform? You know, for someone like myself, who's been doing curation for as long as I can remember, I can't tell you the number of times that I found an artist very early in their career and had no way to participate in their upside outside of the social capital of saying, I found them on SoundCloud when they had 5,000 followers. You know, what we're exploring at Audius today and something that I'm hoping to play a part in is what does it look like for you to be able to curate on the back of artists on the platform very early in their career and have social benefits that are more rigorous than what you see today. So things like private content, things like sharing in the royalties of the platform, all of these are possible with crypto. And I think it's our duty to be able to go through and help those things exist. Um, building for the creator economy. I want to be conscious that, um, you know, we've got a lot to cover here in a minute. So I'm going to kind of breeze through a few things, but Web3 is at the core of everything we do. Staking governance and access. We want to educate people that there's a lot of opportunity here, but we want to make sure that we're not beating people over the head with it. You can see there on the left, we have our NNT integration feature. And on the right, we have our VRP tier feature. These are two different ways that you can get involved with crypto today, even if you're very new to the platform, but you want to make sure that you're staying up with the things that we're building. I'll very quickly say that DAOs are here. This is a very great overview of all the DAOs that exist today. Social tokens are here. This is a list of all the amazing creators that are building social tokens today. And last but not least, you know, communities are driving creator economies. It's not about just musicians in particular. We're seeing a vibrant movement around these communities to come and form creator economies. And in my opinion, I think this is one of the many reasons why we're seeing such a strong demand for things like social tokens, like Friends with Benefits and all these Discord servers that we see today. So if you're a developer and you're looking to help us out, you can build on Audius. We have tools and features to be able to get started. And we have a lot of incentives in place to come to the platform, help support what we're doing and help get our music out into the world. You know, unfortunately, we're not quite there yet. There are still a lot of things that need to be solved, namely off-chain data to on-chain data, thanks to things like Chainlink, infrastructure to support micro payments in platforms like Solana, easier onboarding, which we're trying to do here at Audius, and then education awareness, which is where you come in. So if you're looking to solve any of these problems, please reach out. You know, this is something that I'm extremely passionate about. It's something I'm working on on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm very, very excited to say that we are building the future here at Audius. And if you're interested in creator economy and music at all, there's definitely an opportunity to get involved. So I want to say thank you very much to everyone coming out today. We've got a fantastic panel lined up next with some amazing creators that I've deeper into this topic. But for those who are here today, I just want to say thank you very much. Chainlink, this has been an incredible summit. And I look forward to seeing uh, where we're at this time next year. All right, Coop. Thank you so much. Um, I We might have a little bit of time. So let me just uh, check in real quick and see. 
do we have a little bit of extra time? Can I talk to Coop for a couple of questions or do we need to go to break for a minute? Yeah, we have a couple of minutes. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I would love that. Yeah, I think uh, on my timer, I felt like I was right at time. So I wanted to be conscious. Of that. I think you set your timer for faster than our timer. And so you like rush through things, but we got s- some time left. So if there's any other points you wanted to cover, we have time or I can ask questions because I am a music lover and a curator uh, myself. Um, and I would love to talk to you about it. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Let's go ahead and ask a few questions. I think that'd be a good use of time. So I love, I love the platform. Um, I'm, I've checked it out. That's what I was doing. I was downloading and making sure getting all, all set up. And, and I noticed like you guys have started with a few genres, electronica and hip hop. What are some of the choices and like the strategy for that? And, and what are some of the things moving forward? I'm a metalhead. So like uh, not to dox myself too much about what I like, but like real good, good stuff, hardcore stuff. Um, so, so what is that genre selection? How do you see that um, coming uh, moving forward? Yeah, it's a great question. I think it's a matter of circumstance. And truthfully, I think that the communities we've started with breed very, you know, sound audiences to support new platforms. So specifically with electronic music, you see a lot of communities develop very deep fan clubs around the artists that they're supporting. And so when we thought about how do we really activate this platform and get it out into the world, you know, we chose to start with, you know, not only communities that we had deep relationships with, you know, the members on our team were very, very deeply rooted in uh, genres like dance, like electronic, like hip hop. And so we went into the areas that we are familiar with. And then we also look to identify where communities that people are very passionate about getting involved in supporting artists, regardless of what platform that they're on. So a lot of our early adopters, they're very, very vocal on things like Discord. They have Twitch live streams. We think about how to really um, expand this vision and touch the people that we are really meant to be touched. We often found that these genres spoke very well to the ethos of what we're building here at Audius. You know, a couple of months ago when NFTs really started to pop and artists were coming in from all over the place, it, to me, it seemed like they got it. Like, yes, digital art, let's go. It's a way to, to isolate. And then there were a bunch of questions, but there was this initial, just like, just go, whatever it is. And then they started asking questions and figuring it out. Are musicians the same way? Are they like, yeah, let's do it, whatever it is. And then their management gets involved or, or what are the sorts of questions or concerns that come up? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a learning curve. You know, what I'll say is that there are a lot of musicians who are extremely excited about this space. But when you think about how to get started, it's a really big challenge to go from being excited about crypto to being a prominent user of the tools and platforms today. And so the way that I've used Audius is it's a starting point. You know, you can come onto the platform, upload some songs in the ways that you know fit. And as you start poking around under the hood, you're going to start to see these cool integrations like NFTs, you know, like the VIP tiers we're having. You're going to start asking yourself, how do I get involved here? And as you start to go outwards from there, you sort of dive down this rabbit hole into the deeper crypto world. And what I've seen is that the artists that do take the time to actually educate and learn about what we're doing at Audius beyond as a music streaming service, you start to see them on platforms like Foundation. You know, you start to see them uploading NFTs and you start to see them on creator coin economies like Rally. And so over time, I think that for a lot of these artists, they'll come into the world of crypto through something like Audius. They'll upload a few tracks, maybe get a hundred token reward. And then they'll say, oh, this is really, really cool. I want to go deeper on this. And then you look back at their Twitter uh, two months later, and all of a sudden they're buying, you know, um, board apes and all these crazy, crazy NFTs that you see today, much more degenerate ones than what I just said. But, you know, we see them go down the rabbit hole very, very fast. Uh, what about the audience and the users? You know, I, we've seen a lot. I've seen um, when, uh, when a business or a company says we accept Bitcoin or we support crypto in whatever way, a bunch of Bitcoiners, a bunch of Ethereum, you know, users will support that business just because they, they want to support crypto. Is, is that what we're seeing is a whole bunch of crypto people going to music or is it the other way around where it's just fans who are coming or, or is it some combination? It's a combination, but I'll be very vocal that I think the vast majority of our users are very, very new to crypto, many of them which have no no clue what it is in the first place. You know, I think the advantage that we have is having support from such mainstream artists and acts. You know, when someone like Arl Grime goes and drops his new track on Audius, that's not crypto users flooding in to play Arl Grime's track because they know it's a crypto project. That's Arl Grime's dedicated fan base who wants to hear his new song with the highest quality audio around the world. You know, and so we see a lot of these... Uh, major artists moving mountains for us in terms of getting a ton of new users on the platform, a ton of people coming to just hear really incredible music. You know, and as someone that started off my music career in the depths of SoundCloud, trying to find great new remixes, trying to find live sets, trying to find new artists before they popped off, you know, I believe the audience is playing that role today, specifically for the electronic community. And what we're seeing is a very vibrant, you know, uh, economy of not only artists, but also fans and curators who are spending all of their time on audience discovering new music because they realize there's something very special happening here right now. You know, when you talk about yourself as a curator, like you find that band and then all you got can do is be like, well, I got a t-shirt from 
you know, 1997, I've had this t-shirt forever and I just, you know, I hung on to it, you know, and that that's cred, you know, among those of us who are do, who do that, who are curators are like, you know, props to you, but really there's, there's nothing else you can do. Uh, but it does feel so good to see a musician or an artist of any kind, like many just like come up through the ranks and do well and be successful uh, as well. Yeah. And I'll stick on that for a second, because I think that's really important. You know, today, if you want to support an artist that you know and love, the ways that you do that are by buying a t-shirt. It's by streaming an album a hundred times. It's by tweeting out and tagging them in an Instagram post, but there's never been a way to really work your way up the chain and form deeper relationships with that creator that you love. And so when I think about Audius as sort of an entry point into the creator economy, we want to create tools and features to allow artists to build deeper relationships with their fans. And if I am a top fan who's willing to go out of my way to support your ecosystem, you know, have them jump into a Discord, have them buy your NFTs, have them do things that go deeper beyond the surface level of what exists today. I think what we're going to see over the next year or two is that the most active fans for these artist projects are going to take on ownership roles in that ecosystem and start playing, you know, what's akin to a moderator or a street team promoter, but on a much deeper level, you know, they're going to own things like the live stream. They're going to own things like the creator economy. They're going to have very significant stakes in these ecosystems. And we're going to start to see artist projects turn into more of a startup as opposed to today where it's very much a one-way street where an artist is giving something to a fan to consume. And there's not much of a way to reciprocate that energy on the fan side. I was really surprised. Uh, my, my brother's a Twitch streamer and has, has been growing his audience. And I was surprised so many streamers have their own discord and their own fan base. And even if it's like a dozen people and, or a couple dozen people, and there are almost all other streamers, everybody's got one. And it's run like a very, like a crypto project, like a startup is you start a community, you start interacting, whoever's the creative in charge just lives there and moderates. And as it grows, then you need to expand, then you need to bring on more people. Are those parallels? Like, am I seeing that right? Absolutely. I mean, on the next panel we'll have, we're going to talk to three awesome creators, all of which are actively running their own discords. And so one thing that I want to get into is helping other creators recognize that Discord is a home base for you to flourish and start a new ecosystem. You know, Audius, we create a lot of systems such that if you hold audio tokens, you can have gated access in our Discord. And what we want to show artists is that these tools are meant to be played around with. You know, if you're a starting musician on here, I think there's no single better thing that you can do than start going an active Discord server and looking to empower your fans. You know, unfortunately, we see that a lot of musicians still don't understand the importance of community over fandom. But what I'm starting to recognize is that those artists that are going really deep on activating and engaging their most active fans are seeing crazy, crazy potential in just terms of the support that they're receiving on socials, in terms of how big they're getting on streaming platforms. And I think over time, we're going to start seeing that platforms are going to value the strength of your community far more than the amount of followers that you have. So it's a trend that I'm very excited about. And I think that uh, to answer your question, I think Discord is the leading charge there today. Yeah. Uh, there's actually a couple of questions from the audience. So I'm going to go to a couple of those because, hey, well, where we can be interactive, let's. Hoyt asks, can anyone post their music to Audius or is there an approval? Like, is it gated at the moment? There is no approval process. You can go and sign up today. It's very similar to SoundCloud. We just go ahead on the platform, you create a profile, and then you're good to start uploading in under five minutes. Awesome. Great answer. Uh, Adam says, this is not a question. He just says, I like progressive house fight me. Hey man, you like what you like. We're, we're pretty genre neutral here. I like a little bit more aggressive yeah, stuff. I mean, that hey, doesn't mean you have to, man. My very first concert ever was Avicii and a uh, progressive house. I owe a lot of my music career too. So I'm all here for it, man. I don't want to date myself, but mine was a uh, ska. I, I won't get into it. Um, the <laughs> Don mentions, and this is a question I had is, or, or, or a thought is, this kind of emerged out of uh, COVID and how we're not going to festivals. Like festivals have been a thing that are just starting to reemerge if we get them in the next few months. Um, but there's a couple of comments about like, this seems like it should match up with festivals and live shows. Are you doing anything with that or thinking about that uh, for the next few months or years? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's over a longer time horizon, but when you look at the way that something like Spotify supports the ability to discover concerts, I see audience as a very similar experience there. You know, I think to our benefit though, there's much more, deeper technology integrations with things like gated discords. And so when you think about what a show is today, the obvious answer is doing ticketing. But when I think you go a little bit deeper, you know, I see a lot of private shows for fans that are happening in a discord channel. I see a lot of experiences that are gated to token holders and top supporters. And at Audius, we want to support any way for artists to build deep relationships with fans. So the short answer is yes, there will be ways for uh, fans to discover where their artists are playing and get involved in experiences. But I would think that it's much bigger than just going to see your favorite artist down the street. No, I very much ex expect there to be like metaverse experiences where you're hanging out with mm. people all around the world and some Decentraland server doing some crazy parties together. That's uh, that's awesome. Very exciting. Um, 
thank you for the questions and uh, the comments here in the community. People are enthusiastic about this. They're finding you on Twitter. So uh, go find Koopa Troopa. Rory, you totally guessed my first concert, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. I don't know if it was my very first one, but it was my first big one. So um, well done, sir. 